five and three. Uh, yeah, welcome in. Welcome back to another episode of the Format Podcast Live, Wednesday night edition. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Hope everybody's good. Um, right now we're going to hold it up just a couple minutes and uh, see uh, see if we get some people up in the chat. Um, in the meantime, Transformer, what's good with you, man? How you doing? Man, not much, brother. Living a good life as always. Another day, another <laughs> breath taken. That's it. Another dub by the Lakers, man. How you feeling? Not mad at that. Not mad at that. Dub by the Lakers, dub by the Celtics. Uh, the NBA can't ask for nothing better than that, right? I mean, you're, you're right. right. In that sense, you're right. <laughs> yeah, in that sense, you're the two most storied franchises That's in it. NBA history, they both That's right. got a dub and open a night. That's pretty dope. Yeah. yeah. Oh, only thing better is if we see them wind up in the finals. That would be, obviously, you know. Boy. That is what the NBA is built on. <laughs> you you want to talk about, I'm not going to be able to be on a podcast with you for like a week and a half? <laughs> I'm not going to be able to talk, bro. Don't talk to me. You're not lying. <laughs> I'm not going to talk to you. I'm lying. Hey, if we have to make a truce. Before we start off, it's going to be, all right, guys, before we get started on the format podcast, me and Bryant right now are making a truce. Truce. Don't talk no Celtic, no Lakers. <laughs> Until the finals right. is over, don't talk nothing. When the finals is over, then we'll go back through the whole thing. But until then, <laughs> we we can talk about NFL, free agency, baseball, something. Now we, hey, we talk can talk about, about everything under the sun. Don't talk everything about everything under the sun. That's a fact. That's a fact. Oh hey, man, my wife. Uh, we was watching the Green Bay game, right? And of course, you know it mm. was a freaking. It was. Oh, it was. It was nerve wracking. And mm -hmm. I can see my wife, like she went from cheering and then mm -hmm. I started getting pissed off. I started throwing my shirt. Mm -hmm. Like I punched a box. <laughs> she, was just like, <laughs> she got on her phone. She was like, oh my God, somebody come and save me. This man is about to go crazy. I'm like, so imagine right. if it's Boston Celtics versus the Lakers in the finals. Oof. I'm like, T, I'm, I'm honestly just going to have to leave the house. Like I can't be <laughs> home. I'm, I'm not going to be able to be home. Like I don't care. I'm going to have to be home. Yeah. I'd rather put it on my phone and sit in the car. Crazy, right? Get me away, because I don't. You know what? No, we owe y'all one because the last time we played y'all in the finals was uh, God bless the dead. The Mamba, the Mamba you know, did his thing, and and, and y'all um, y'all handled business. So, yeah, I'm not. I'm, I'm still not feeling too good about that. I respect it, but I don't like it. Tyler, you what's know? good? How are you? Tyler, what's good, baby? <laughs> but yeah, man, I respect it. Definitely don't like it. Of course, you know, you know, Jeez. just like 08, You know what I'm saying? When uh, when we did what we had to do. You know, oh, it was like a pandemic type of year, right? It wasn't a you know pandemic I mean? type year, yeah, man. It was like a bubble. It was a recession. It was no Everybody bubble. was broke. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, and and Boston just got it the easy way, man. They just they truly got you the got easy to be way. Kidding me, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, whatever. Just like, hey, we don't count the bubble championship for the Lakers. We ain't counting the Boston uh recession championship. Okay, that wasn't no recession <laughs> shit, man. Listen, man, you are killing me. <laughs> Oh my all goodness! All love, all love, man. All, all love. Count Respect if, they, if they're logged, okay, they logged yes, them. They count. <laughs> I, I guess we got to look at it that way. But oh, um, I will. there you go. But uh, we got some good topics for y'all tonight. Uh, obviously, it's Wednesday, so we're gonna do our pick 'em. Um, hopefully, G shows up and we can get get him in on that. But uh, he may not be here tonight. Uh, Shannon, then we have our, what's all right, up? Shannon. <laughs> Then we have Joel Embiid, and uh, well, we got a lot, a lot to talk about with this guy. Uh, <sighs> um, then we, uh, for our main topic of the night, we will talk about the history that was made in Hollywood last night. Because um, no matter how you feel about it, it was uh, it was something that we may never see again. And so, obviously, that's a that's an, a huge thing, right? We may never see that again. True. We most likely won't see that again. So, just yeah. you know, to acknowledge the. Um, I don't even know the word, but uh, just to acknowledge how huge of a moment that was uh, for a number of reasons, um, we'll, we'll do some talking about that. And then finally, we're going to talk about arguably the two best teams in the NFL, uh, the, the Kansas City Chiefs and the Baltimore Ravens. So uh, it's going to be a fun show. It's going to be a fun show. No, there's no. <clears throat> no. Y'all are very good. You're not one of the best teams in the NFL what? right now. Nah, man. See, here you go. What's the, what's the record, Bruce? What's the records? Okay, five and two, five and two. Okay, yes, I I understand that, but right, you you're not when 
Well, the eye test says to me, y'all not one of the best teams in, in the league. Okay, You're very good. Just because better than the Lions. Like that, you know what I mean? It's okay. No. Okay, all right. It's all okay. Right. We're five it's and not two. I'm saying you can't be. I'm not saying you can't be. We're also five and two. Just Dude. a better five and two than you. Ow! <laughs> you <laughs> just look at the record, I, man. You, you see what we're doing to people out here, man. Hey man, you know a dub is a dub. I don't care if it's about one point. That's true. You know what That's I mean? true. A dub is a dub. You, you call true, it out. I mean, you know I mean? Game of inches, baby. All right, all right. I mean, we do have the number one offense in the in the league, so that, that's huge. And we got top five in, in defense, so you know. What I mean? I'm just yeah, saying, you know, I'm surprised about that. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, I'm yeah. surprised. And we yeah. just add another piece. We're gonna make that a quick hit. Here yeah, shortly. yeah. All right, let's do it. Let's um. Yeah. So before we get to the quick hits, y'all. Uh, you know what time it is. Let's do that, and then we'll get this thing started. If you're here on YouTube and you haven't already, please make sure you go ahead, click that like, that subscribe, that notification bell. Make sure you're kept up to date whenever we drop new content on the channel. If you want the audio-only version of the podcast, open up your audio podcast platform, hit the search bar, type in the format podcast, and we should come right up. If you're enjoying the content, make sure you give us that like, that five-star review, and drop a comment. All that stuff helps us rise in the algorithm, helps us find more sports fans, helps more sports fans find us, and finally, Make sure you write it down, put it in your phone, set an alarm, do whatever you got to do to remember. Saturday nights at 7 p.m., we are live here on the Format Podcast, and we'll give you the opportunity to call in, talk to us, get at me. I love it. I can't. All right, team. All right. Well, let's get right to it. Um, let's let's. All right. So we're gonna move on over to the next segment here, the first segment here. Um, yes. the week eight pick 'em. All right. Last week we had one hell of a week, and Gino mm -hmm. and Bruce went ten for fifteen, meaning they got ten out of the fifteen games correct. While I week. had a eleven out of fifteen. So I don't care if it's an inch or a mile. <laughs> Thank you. Congrats, Transformer. Congrats. You took First the week. I want to thank God. <laughs> he, he put me here. <laughs> he put me in this position. Switch. He put me in this position <laughs> right. to have the brain and the mind, the, the foresight to just think and make the right picks. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but no, <laughs> we're going to move uh, on over to week eight. Yes. Uh, a lot of games where I think a lot of us is going to be – actually, I think a lot of us are going to have most of the same uh, – uh, logic and thinking here. This is a lot mm -hmm. of games. I think it's going to be more one-sided than I think it's going to be actually some good games. I only got four actual good games this year, this week. Uh, but we're going to start off with Thursday night. Minnesota is mm -hmm. going to be traveling to Los Angeles and the Steel Cooper Cup field team. And right, right. Stafford. Even though I'm hearing rumors that he may be on his way to Detroit, but we'll see about that. I mean, not Detroit, Minnesota. So this is actually going to be a very good game right here um, as far as that retrospect. But Minnesota travels to Los Angeles Rams. Bruce who do you have, brother? Um, I've got Minnesota here. Uh, the Rams still are – they're facing a lot um, injury-wise. And uh, I just – I think they are retooling this season. Sean McVay doesn't strike me as a, um, a, a give-up kind of guy or, or anything like that. They're retooling, and they're getting it back right. And Minnesota has been playing some, some of the better football in the NFL all year. And coming off of their first loss last week uh, – it should be a good one, but I, I've got Minnesota. All right, they got more healthy right. weapons, and Brian Flores, that defense is crazy. So this let's see if we can bottle up my man Kyron the Siren, Cole Irish. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to get him, Chad. I tried to get him before he even said it, but he got, me, he got it in there first, Pauls. Uh, but no, um, I think you're right. Minnesota just had <laughs> – <sighs> Whoa. Whoa. That was I, tried, hey, I tried to speed past that one real quick. I was like, no, pause, man. Just keep going. Just keep going. Oh. But no, <laughs> but no, uh, I agree with you. Minnesota just has yes. they have the weapons, they have the tools. Uh, they just mm -hmm. came off of a narrow defeat, uh, field goal game winning uh field goal for the Detroit Lions. Um, so I think you're coming in this game with a little bit more sense of urgency. I think for the remainder of the season, there's gonna be a full sense of urgency every single game for anybody in the NFC North. I think all four teams are going to be like every game we got to win every because That's right. bro, everybody's good, right? Mm -hmm. It's not like you have any bottom dwellers in your division in this division. The worst team in this division is four and two, right? So you're looking at this game like, okay, now we're five and one. We tasted that. Mm -hmm. We tasted that defeat. We finally not undefeated no more. So the pressure off of your back yeah. is right there. Yeah. So, uh, but you know, we got 
Green Bay right behind you at five and two. So mm -hmm, you can't, mm -hmm. you don't want to go in here five and two, and then Green Bay beats Jacksonville, which is more likely going to happen. Now they're six and two. Now the the roles have just flipped that fast. You went from first in the division to third in the division in a matter of two weeks. So I think wow, they come in yeah. with a little bit more sense of urgency in this mm -hmm. game. So I, I'm with you, man. I got Minnesota. Nice. Uh, we're going to move on over to Sunday. Who, man, G is not here. Thank God. All right. We're going to go with Baltimore travels to Cleveland. <laughs> <laughs> In the Jameis Winston game, I believe he's going to be starting this game. Um, yes. But in Baltimore, just came off of curb, comp, comp, curb stomping the Tampa mm -hmm. Bay Buccaneers. Who do you have right. in this game? Um, I've got Baltimore fairly easily. Cleveland is just not good at all this year. And um, uh, there, there's also a change in their offensive play calling. Kevin Stefanski is no longer calling the plays. I believe it'll be Joe Brady. So um, there's that. Uh, Nick Chubb is back, but he's not back to being Nick Chubb. So yeah, I I got Baltimore. I just I don't see. I, I don't know if I see anybody right slowing down this buzzsaw offense right now. They are really really clicking, and um, yeah, I, I think that's Baltimore easy. No, no, no. I definitely agree with you. Uh, all signs point to pick the team that just are rolling, right? Mm -hmm, don't pick mm -hmm. the team that are currently getting rolled on. That's right. <laughs> right. So that's right. Uh, it's nothing to it here. Uh, you know, Cleveland is in shambles right now. Uh, I know Jameis Winston is going to come out there and play with more of his heart. Um, you know, he's definitely that type of kid. You know, go Florida State, go Knowles. But mm -hmm. it's just not enough. That Baltimore offense is just clicking at all cylinders. Um, Lamar Jackson just had a five touchdown, no interception game. Uh, you know, Derrick Henry could take off of 40 yards one play and then three yards the very next yeah. play. You don't know yeah. which one you're going to get, but you got to be prepared for him the entirety of the game. That's right. And I don't think Miles Garrett wants them problems right now. He doesn't want nah. to keep trying to, you know, go after him. So I definitely mm -hmm. got Baltimore in an easy one here. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Moving over, next game, Tennessee and the Lions. Mason Rudolph. Yeah, Mason Rudolph. That's what I was, I'm trying to think of the quarterback. Uh, oh, Mason okay. Rudolph, I believe, is going to be the starting quarterback in Tennessee, who they just uh, traded off DeAndre Hopkins. Mm -hmm. He's going to be traveling to Detroit to play G Jared Goff. I almost said Geo Goff. <laughs> yeah. Who do you have, brother? Uh, Detroit, easy, man. That's a good football team, man. That is a very good football team. And Tennessee is just – I don't. I don't know. I don't – it appears um, all signs are pointing towards them kind of throwing it in for the year and just trying to do the best they can to get through the season and then hopefully seeing what happens in the offseason, whether it's free agency or the draft. But uh, this is not a very good football team as it stands right now. So, Lions. No, I'm, I'm definitely just I'm, I'm with you on that. That's that's simple. Better team. Tennessee has nothing going for them. So I'm just going to move on, right. on that one. Um, mm -hmm. <clears throat> next game, Arizona. And Kyle Murray travels to what I believe is going to be the comeback game for Tua. All signs are pointing towards that he's actually going to be playing this game. They've already designated mm -hmm. him to return. Um, right. So he's eligible to play this game. And I think they're in a more desperation attempt to make a comeback. So Arizona versus Miami in Miami. Who do you have? Um, I actually have Miami in this one. It, uh, I'm, I believe Tua is going to play. And that leads me to pick Miami. Um I, I'm not a believer in Tua, but from what we've seen since he, he's been out, he clearly makes that offense go. Clearly. I don't think there's any denying that. And so I was one of those people that said, don't pay him. Uh, I think I need to step back off of that. <laughs> it's clear what happens when you don't have that guy. You know, he makes it go. And so, um, uh, yeah, I'm going to go with Miami here. Yeah, I'm going to go with Miami. Arizona is so... Um, they're so up and down. They're super inconsistent this season. So I, I don't have any reason to put any trust in them that they will get something done, especially in a road game traveling all the way across country. So yeah, I'm, I'm going with the uh, Miami hit. Uh, I'm, I'm a roll with you on that one. I think uh, this is going to be more so do it for two a game, right? You yeah, know, if, he, yeah, if, yeah. He make, if he attempts yeah. to make that comeback and this is going to be the game that he comes back, um, mm -hmm. then I think it's going to be, you know, Tyreek Hill more of like a thank God you're back. Cause I haven't yeah. had a game since you left. <laughs> Right, That's, yeah, <laughs> I right. Had a game. Just throw yeah. it. Just wherever you do, just throw it. I'm catching mm -hmm. it, bro. I'll go get it. That's I'm right. going to get it. You know what I mean? And I think, uh, you know, Jalen Waddle and them boys are just going to be very, very ecstatic to have that quarterback play back. Somebody who knows the quarterback room because it's not like he's he was injured, right? It's more mm -hmm. of a concussion, so he can still like all of his mobility work. It's nothing wrong with his body. It's his brain, right? You know, it's just more of a you know, an impactful blow to his head. 
So they're mm-hmm. like, hey, we know you can come back. You can still launch it, right? He's probably right. been launching in practice. Like, hey, you already know what to do. We're coming off hot. So I definitely think there's going to be one of those type of games for those guys. So I got Miami as well. Uh, we're gonna. I think we're probably going to have more than likely the same bracket. Um, Crazy, right? <laughs> It's a, lot, it's a lot of I would say it's a lot of one sided games this week. Yeah, right? it seems like a lot of chalk this week. Yeah, so I mm-hmm. think this is going to be a good time to get those bets in, fellas. So from here, <laughs> uh, the New York Jets and the Robert Salalis Jets travel to New England <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and travel uh, and play at one o'clock. You got Jets in New England. So I'm thinking the Jets finally get one here. Um, another week, uh, Aaron Rodgers and uh, Devontae Adams reconnecting. Um, another week of them, you know, uh, the Jets trying to tweak this offense and get things rolling again. Another week of uh, trying to incorporate Bryce Hall because he, you know, he's a problem. Obviously, they just got to figure out how to make that work. Uh, another week of New England just not having enough. Uh, this game will be closer than you think, though, because obviously, uh, what's my man's name? Um, Jared Mayo. Gerard Mayo. He Go called ahead. that team out this week. And so if, if you're a bunch of men and we know that the NFL is full of alpha males, if you're a bunch of those, you're going to take offense to that. And even if they lose, they will probably lose closer. But I tell you what, they've got to be careful because I think, I mean, the Jets have to be careful because I think uh, based on what we saw, the Patriots might have something in this kid, Drake May. They've just, they've got to get him some weapons, obviously, but they may have something there. So the Jets got to be careful and get after him. No, I 100% agree with, with Drake May. I think uh, from the last two games that I've seen him play, they want him to air it out, but it's like they're mm-hmm. kind of holding him back, like, ah, uh, not yet, right? right. And I'm seeing right. him make some great throws. Obviously, he's mobile. Mm-hmm. He can step out of the pocket uh, and yeah. go get you a five, six-yard scramble, more of like a Brock Purdy-esque type of uh, uh, scrambles that I've been seeing from him. But I think the the sky's the limit with that guy. I mean, they get a, a top pick or they end up getting the number one pick, that's going to be kudos to them because now you necessarily don't need Sadir Sanders. You can trade that back and get a boatload of picks, get you a tackle, right. get you a weapon, get you a receiver, um, and have a boatload of picks for whoever needs uh, Shadir Sanders. Even though uh, he would I, want Shadir Sanders, but that's not the market. To, to well, I tell in. you what, I, I think Carolina's probably going to be looking for Shadir Sanders. Oh, no, absolutely. But Price I'm just saying, because I think they're both tied for the same record. So, um, you know, God forbid, I mean, you know, either one of them win another game. <laughs> I, I mean, I, I don't see it on their schedule unless they're playing each other. That's going to be pretty cool to watch the, the trash bowl of the season. But mm-hmm. uh, but I, I'm going to roll with you on this one. Uh, Jets, I think, you know, Aaron Rodgers and Devontae Adams, they look mm-hmm. themselves in the mirror and they're like, okay, all right, now mm-hmm. we get a full week. Let's go out, oh, here. Let's go out here and make a show. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, um, Edward that. Jackson, that's uh, Hassan Reddick. And yeah, he's back. He, I think he sure. signed a, a one year deal and they set it up so that. Basically, that deal will pay for all the fines and stuff he's accrued. So, um, yep, Correct. yep, yep, yep. Correct. And, you know, you know, got us ready. So, Jets. say again. No, no, no. no. I'm, I'm, go ahead. Go ahead. No, I was just going to say, hopefully, the Jets will be able, for for their sake anyway, to work something out long term with him uh, after the season's over. So, we'll see. Oh gosh, bad moment for Wiseman. He possibly tore his Achilles in the season opener. Damn. Damn. I was wondering why you, my, my thing was going off. You never want to see that. Yeah, you don't. That's sad. Uh, let me see. Pacers center won't yeah. return an opening game. Has a non-contact injury. So that's that screams Achilles, oh. unfortunately. ACL, uh, yeah. Yeah, so, or something. But, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> but I'm getting feedback from a bunch of my uh, other sports watchers. They're texting mm-hmm. me saying it's look like an Achilles. But uh, oh. moving on, uh, we're not going to spend too much time on that one. This game, I think, is going to be one of the better games of the week. Um, but I do have my pick. I'm curious where you're going to go with this one. Atlanta travels to Tampa Bay at 1 o'clock p.m. So this is really tough. Um, if you had asked me this on Wednesday, <laughs> not Wednesday, <laughs> um, if you'd asked me this during Saturday. the day on Monday, um, okay. I, w- I would have said Tampa Bay, right? But now you got Chris Godwin, who looks like he's done for the year. Yep. Mike Evans looks like he has some knee injury. So yep. two of Baker's biggest weapons. That's oh. going to be a tough one. Um, geez, I, I I think, I mean, I want to say it's a division rivalry game. Correct. Uh, Tampa Bay lost the last one to Atlanta in Atlanta. And I would have said Tampa Bay. I just... Man, Baker Baker, touchdown maker. I don't know what he's going to be able to make without his top two guys. Uh, ooh, um, uh, 
I, man, I will say. I, if Bruce I had say, hair, y'all, Bruce will be losing it right now. We're losing it right now. <laughs> um, I will say I the logic says go with Atlanta. That's what the logic here says. Yeah. Uh man, forget that, man. I've been going chalk the whole way. I'm there going you with go. Go with Tampa. Let's go. Baker Baker touchdown make it. Let's get it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> I wait, I, I've been, I'm seeing, uh, I'm seeing it turning. It's like, oh, the, the wheel is turning. The hamster yeah, just needs yeah. to hop on the wheel, man. It gets yes. to get the running. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Okay, so yeah, Tampa. Uh, Tampa, Baker, Baker, touchdown maker. I'm going to yes. go finally have a different opinion than you. I okay. think Atlanta takes this one easily. Um, okay. Atlanta also just came off of a, lo- a losing game um, just this past week. I believe it was Seattle. All right, they had a game where – uh, turnovers kind of, you know, killed him that game. I believe uh, Kirk Cousins turned the ball over a total of three times with two interceptions and a lost fumble. So I think at that point, you're looking yourself in the mirror. Like I said, Kirk Cousins is one of those regular season quarterbacks where he'll have a bad game. If, if he have a bad game, bet the house at the next game, he's going to have a shootout or he's going to okay. have some type of great okay. game uh, during the season. Like I said, during mm-hmm. the season, um, that's Kirk Cousins lane. But I think it's going to be tough for Baker. Uh, as you saw, he was just distraught. Um, when yeah, Chris Robin went down, it's yeah. gonna be it's a dislocated ankle. Um, more than likely, they're saying he's out for the season. Yeah, that um, thing looked bad the way it was twisted. When oh, he was it was, down there. It was yeah. bad. I think mm-hmm. it was, they were looking at it as a hip drop tackle. I didn't see it, any hip oh, drop going there. I just think it was just a you know game. It's a game tackle. And what are so defenders to supposed to do? Yeah. What that's are defenders supposed to? They're taking out anyway. Let me not kill that yeah. soapbox. I said, look, they're just, they're just looking at it. You know the proper yeah, yeah, protocol. Yeah, yeah, somebody yeah. somebody mentions it, and like, okay, well, mm-hmm. we got to review it. Let's make sure we right. get it right. And I think the only thing that'll happen is that uh, the defender would just get a fine. It'll, that's all it'll be. But um, but yeah, I think Atlanta has something to you know something to get off their shoulders. They've seen we've mm-hmm. seen them do it before. I think that's but that was the five hundred yard game. Um, the yeah. last time that these guys right. played, I'm not expecting 500 yards, but I am no. expecting Kirk Cousins to get it right this time. Um, and right. I think uh, Jamel Dean may be out, so uh, Bucks are also down some defensive players as well. Mm. So mm-hmm. they just have a lot going bad for them at the wrong time yeah. of the season. So yeah, I got Atlanta there. Um, moving on over, we have in what I hope to be my game of the week. Um, this <laughs> really, is a rookie battle. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, Which one are you looking I'm at? You might be looking at uh, this game. Green Bay, Jacksonville. Oh no, 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 no. <laughs> what are you talking about? No, man? no, no. Um, okay. Oh, wait, wait, wait. You had Tampa. Let me unclick that. I'm sorry, I'm looking at the wrong one. Um, right. Chicago and uh Caleb Williams uh, is gonna be traveling to Washington, in which I hope Jaden Daniels is gonna mm-hmm, play. Mm-hmm. But uh as of right now, I haven't really heard anything. Have you heard anything about that? I haven't. Okay. I haven't. So this one is a toss-up for me. Uh so if if Jaden was playing, I would pick Washington. Yeah, yeah, easily. If he's not playing, I'm gonna go with Chicago. Who did Washington beat last week, though? Um, they lost last uh, week. Oh, this Jayden past Dan- week. oh, they won. Jaden yeah. Daniels went out early. Marcus Mariota it was came. It was Carolina, in. though, man. Okay, because I was like, I think yeah. they smoked somebody last week, even without oh, him. Oh. Dog walked them. It was okay. Just, cool, cool, it was cool. Carolina, and I mm-hmm. think uh, Andy Dalton went out that game. No, 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 no. Andy, Andy Dalton's not going to play this week. Excuse me, but okay. yeah, they just, they just, they're just. Mm, oh, so we back bad. to Bryce Young? Yes, this week. <laughs> yeah, I think it's gonna. I think his oh, he was involved in a car accident or something like that. Oh, okay, that's not. Yeah, yeah. So okay. uh, yes, you know, him and his family. That's right. Yeah. I read that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Pray for him and his family. Prayers Hope everything's absolutely. okay. But yeah. yeah, he's he's not going to be playing this week. They have already announced mm-hmm. that Bryce Young is going to be starting the quarterback this week. Well, that's but, enough. Uh, Anyway, <laughs> all right, but uh, who do you got, man? I'm, I'm, I'm uh, I think I might wait until su- Saturday night to finalize that one. So this is Washington and uh, Chicago. Are we Washington and Chicago? Yeah, that's tough, man. That's tough. Um, Chicago is playing really good defense. Caleb looks like he's beginning to kind of uh fit in with things and kind of understand and get used to the speed of the game. Uh, hmm. You know, I'm gonna go with Chicago here. I'm gonna go with Chicago. I just if 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 Jaden Daniels was playing, I think it would be Washington. I'd be very confident about Washington, but I yeah. think I'm gonna pick Chicago. Yeah, I think, I, I, yeah. I'm with you I'm on that, man. 
Um, like I said, if Jaden's playing, it's, it's easy, easier for me to pick Washington. Mm-hmm. But Marcus Mariota, I don't expect him to do it twice against that Chicago right. Bears defense. Right. Um, and I expect them to get it done. Even though Washington does have a great defense of their own. Mm-hmm. But I think, you know. I don't think it's great. I think I don't think it's great. It's just good. Yeah. Like, it's just yeah, good yeah. enough, right? So, so uh-huh. I'm going I'm to go with Chicago for now. Something mm-hmm. to change Saturday night if I hear that Jaden Daniels is playing. Mm-hmm. All right. Moving on to the final one o'clock game. Oh, no, I'll take that back. I'm lying. Uh, yeah. Green Bay and Jordan yes. Love in the five and two. Beautiful. Green Bay. <sighs> go, Pat, go. Excuse me. The green and gold, but anyway. Ex- excuse me. Oh man, can't we just uh, skip this one? I, I think right. it's a foregone conclusion. I just wasn't, I, it wasn't feeling good in my spirit to not just I got you. Okay. have my colors on when I made this pick. Green Bay, yeah. man, by a long shot, man. Green Bay, yeah. if, if I wear a navy shirt, I'd take that off too. <laughs> you're saying, <laughs> <laughs> oh man, but uh, Green Bay travels to Jacksonville, man, right up the street from yeah. where you live and down the street yes, from where I live, man. Who you yes, have? Sir. Oh, and Green Bay, easily. Uh, two touchdowns. Two touchdowns? Mm-hmm. I like Trevor it. Trevor Lawrence going to give him a couple. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you know, the Green Bay defense is opportunistic, that secondary there, and Trevor Lawrence is um not good. So I think he's going to give him a couple. No, I agree. Mm-hmm. Uh, our defense wasn't able to get any takeaways last game. I think so they're going to be hungry for it. They're, they're, they're hunting. They're hunting. Right. Yes, they're sir. going out, boy. They yes, got sir. their camouflage on. Mm-hmm. They got their rifle. Yep. <laughs> got their you know got, the <laughs> suit. got the ghillie suit. Bro, they out yeah. there ready. They're hunting. I That's think me. McKinney's definitely hunting for one. Um, mm-hmm. Shaw Gary, he wants another sack. And I think they're going to – they're, they're gonna. It's, I, I expect a lot of pressures coming at uh, uh, Trevor Lawrence this week. So I think it's just going to be an ugly game for him. But I got Green Bay in a long shot. First, uh, first of all, Laker Nation, this is not my hometown. That's one. I just nah. live here. This yeah, is absolutely not my hometown. So, military and, brought us here. Yeah. Right, right. But no, there's no, nah, nah, nah. <laughs> my hometown, uh, for uh, for you, so you can know, Laker just Nation here. is Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Mm-hmm. So I was actually born. I had to be a Green Bay fan. If not, I was going to be disowned by family. Uh, <laughs> so unfortunately, they didn't care about the Bucks as much. So as I grew up. Um, by the time I turned six years old, I saw Kobe Bryant's name on the TV. My name is Bryant, actually, by the way. And so when I saw that, I used to always point and be like, yo, that's me. I'm playing. And so mm-hmm. so happened. I inadvertently picked probably one of the I mean, the greatest Laker of all time, but one of the better best players of all time. Is that definitive? And I have you know how I feel about Kobe. But is it? I know. Uh, let's try not to get too sidetracked. Is you know, it definitive Johnson, that he's the greatest Laker of all time? I think the impact will make him that way. I I would think that would be magic, though. As far as what people are going to remember the most, right? Mm-hmm. Right. I, I think in this era of basketball, mm-hmm. you look at Kobe as that. Like I said, he's the second best thing compared to what we call the greatest thing, right? Okay. He's the okay. Next best thing. So I think mm-hmm. with that retrospect, you look at Jordan, you're like, man, yeah. what's the closest thing we've ever seen to a killer yeah. like yeah. that? you be like, mm-hmm. Alan Iverson to stand up and be like, hey, pick me, I, uh, Kobe no, Bryant. Why, 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 what are we saying? No, nah, Iverson <laughs> always talks about Kobe. Yeah, he he's does. like, hey, be like, hey, yeah. Kobe, did, pick mm-hmm. me to answer that question. You know what I mean? So oh. uh, I think that's what you're looking at, uh, mm-hmm. you know, as far as. Uh, shut up, Edward. I was raising the M, but you know I ain't root for no damn Memphis teams. Um, <laughs> but um, I was born in Washington yeah. D.C. I have never been a Redskin, Washington football team, Commanders fan ever, ever. Yeah. So I, I don't know. Yeah, I guess it's just whatever. But yeah, the uh, and uh, and I'm not mad at anyone who says that Kobe is the greatest Laker. I'm fine with it. Me personally, I think it's magic though. What he did for the Lakers, what he did for the league, along with Bird, of course. I, I mean, that. that would be. You know, so anyway, I won't, I won't argue that at all. Right, right. Well, yeah. But anyway, uh, moving on. You're going to mm. make me jump right into the NBA bandwagon. Here uh, we man, go. Um, coming, that's coming. <laughs> uh, so the next game is that Indianapolis Colts are going to be traveling to Houston. And we're still at one. It's a lot of one o'clock this week. Jesus. Uh, Indianapolis going to be playing Houston. Who do you got? 
Uh, his- Edward Jackson, no, never the Wizards. I've been, I told you, I've been a Celtics fan since I was in third grade. Like that's just what it is. Um, I don't like any of the Washington teams, oddly enough. But anyway, uh, what what game was that transformer? I'm sorry, I was Indianapolis and Houston. Uh, Indianapolis and Houston. I got Houston. Um, coming off that tough loss to your Packers. Yeah. Um, uh, uh, CJ Stroud had uh, arguably the worst game of his professional life uh, career, and I so I, I think they're going to get. Hey? <laughs> Yeah, it was. It was clear. Yeah, it was bad. So was I, bad. I think they're going to get back back in good form, and I, I'm going to go with Houston here. No, I, I 100% agree. I don't like Anthony Richardson starting, so I'm picking anybody um, that's at least competent enough to beat Anthony Richardson in that team. I just think he's just not ready, and that puts him in harm's way. I think Houston's defense is a little upset that they let that one get away from them, um, a game that they mm-hmm. think they should have won in Green Bay, and they let – Jordan Love walk him down the field and get in position to make that field goal game winning kick. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. And like you said, CJ Stroud was pissed off. I'm not sure if yeah. you guys watched yeah. it, but he was on that sideline. He was upset. That man, he was like, I can't get nothing. Like the pressure right. on me, line isn't holding up. Mm-hmm. My receivers can't get open. And I don't think yeah. Indianapolis has that type of uh, defense to, to stop an angry CJ Stroud. So mm-hmm. I think that's an easy one for me. Yeah. Uh, Final one o'clock. This is going to be a little bit closer than I think. Um, it's going to be the New Orleans Saints traveling to Los Angeles with. That's a four o five. That's a one. That's one. That's five. a four. That's a four o'clock game. Oh, do they? Do I have it wrong? Yeah, it here? says four o five p.m. Oh, it does. Mm-hmm. Oh well, my pick'em sheet definitely has that as a one o'clock. So okay. all right, we're moving on over to the four o'clock. Then I guess my is wrong. <laughs> so uh, good. Yeah, New Orleans Saints are going to be traveling to Jim Har Jim Harbaugh. I always get it backwards, don't I? John. John, God damn it. Jim is right the now. Ravens. Jim is, uh, no, 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 you're right. You're right. Yeah. Jim is the Chargers. John okay. is the Ravens. Pardon me. All right, there we go. I got it right this time. Mm-hmm. I always get them backwards, all right? So Jim Harbaugh <laughs> and the Los Angeles Chargers, who mm-hmm. actually just came off of a loss against the Arizona Cardinals, but who's mm-hmm. I got the Chargers here. Um, uh, the, the, the Saints are beset by injuries, and they're still dealing with a, you know, they still have the rookie quarterback, and I'm glad Spencer Rattler's getting his reps, but, um, they are going to throw the kitchen sink at him. Uh, Jesse Minter is an outstanding defensive coordinator, and uh, they're going to be physical. They're going to run the ball, and, uh, you know, they are going to attack Spencer Rattler. So I got the Chargers here bouncing back off the loss. I 100% agree with you. Um, I think, yeah, I mean, they're, they're just belittled with injuries, man. Uh, mm-hmm. I think uh, Alvin Kamara has a broken hand or a fractured hand. So if you lose him, then that's all your offense right there. Uh, mm-hmm. You lose uh, your receiver. Uh, what's in it? Rashid? Is it Rashid? Rashad? Rashad? I forget how you pronounce his um, name. Yes, 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 yes. yes I know who you're Rashid. talking about. Yeah, 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 I think it's Rashid. Yeah, yeah. But mm-hmm. you lose him for the season. Um, Olave, he's still banged up a little bit. So who is the kid going to be throwing to? All right, who is he going to be handing the ball off to? So I think that just spells trouble. Um, and one thing you know about uh, Jim Harbaugh, he's going to run the air out of that damn football. So uh, and he has a more competent quarterback in uh, Justin Herbert. Even though I, I think at this point you might as well trade him because, like, that's just it, to me he doesn't fit right. Justin Herbert is not the Jim Harbaugh offensive scheme type of quarterback. You know, I think more like a Malik Willis style or like a. Uh, What's his name? Bo Nix. More of a, a scramble type of quarterback would be more of a a, a better opportunity for uh, the Los Angeles Chargers. So I'm curious to see mm-hmm. what Jim's going to be doing over the next couple couple of years. But I do have Los Angeles Chargers taking this one over. Um, moving on. Do you have anything else on that? I'm sorry. I didn't mean to cut you off. No, nah, man. You're good. Okay. All right. Moving on. We have the Buffalo Bills. Another One of the uh, better games of the week. Buffalo mm-hmm. Bills going to be traveling to the Seattle Seahawks. Mm. Mm. Good one. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna go Buffalo here. I I like I like Josh Allen now having Amari Cooper further opening up that offense. Your guy Keon Clark from uh, Keon Coleman from Florida Coleman. State. Mm-hmm. Yes, he is. Um, you can see he's starting to come into his own. I think he had like four for a buck twenty five last week. Mm-hmm. Uh, to lead uh to lead the Bills receivers. So. That's going to be a nice little one-two punch there. Uh, I would prefer they ran the ball a little better, not a dominant run team. So um, they got to be ready for Kenneth Walker, the third. He, they're going to be bringing it with Seattle. But um, this is going to be a good game. I'm going to go Buffalo here. Yeah. I, I think it could go either way. I'm just I'm going to go Buffalo, though. 
Yeah, I like Buffalo as well. Um, like you said, adding Amari Cooper, he has that definitive number one option, right? Mm-hmm. And I think now that you give him that, mm-hmm. it takes a lot of pressure off of Keon Coleman. And Keon Coleman's like, okay, all right, now I can develop more, develop more into this role uh, of being that you know close to number one or eventually number one because I don't think Amari Cooper's going to be there long. But um, you know, walking into instead of just coming in, it's like, okay, now I am the number one. I'm going to have to learn this kind of the hard way. And I think Amari mm-hmm. Cooper takes that pressure off of him. I do want to see James Cook get the ball more. Definitely want to see him run the football a little bit more. Um, but I think they do have enough. Uh, and Josh Allen is right now, the man can't even, like from a guy who used to turn over the ball every game, sometimes twice a game, the man can't turn over the football. The man is mm-hmm. getting to throw an interception. So I think you know, Isn't that he's, crazy? Not, he's not putting the ball in harm's way. So I mean, mm-hmm. I like that for him. Um, so I'm curious to see if he keeps that streak up. So I got Buffalo in mm-hmm. as well. All, All right. right. So that's funny. G, G got on me for calling Josh Allen the top five quarterback in the league and said that you can't be a top five quarterback if you're always top three in interceptions. But he hasn't thrown one yet this year. Yeah. Interesting. Right. Anyway, number moving one, right along. Number one and no interceptions. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> he went from top Go five ahead. in interceptions to number one with no interceptions, right? And we're at week, I mean, we're at week eight. So that's actually pretty – that's pretty amazing to see. It that, is. You know, you it haven't is. thrown a pick at all. I don't think Aaron Rodgers mm-hmm. went that freaking long. Um, seven straight weeks without throwing an interception. I think his was like mm-hmm. six or something like that. But I'll look it up. Uh, here we go. Philadelphia and my other big game of the week, Philadelphia Eagles travel to Cincinnati and the hot Joe Burrow and them Bengals. Pause. That came out wrong. All right. <laughs> hot quarterback in Joe Burrow. You know what? Just take hot of it. Hot out of it. <laughs> right. Joe Burrow and the freaking Bengals, all right? Yeah, he's he's playing well right now, and I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with the Bengals. They look like they're starting to round into form and do what they do every year: start off kind of shaky and then kind of uh, get back in the flow. So I am. I'm gonna go Cincinnati here. Uh, Philadelphia is a good team, but if Cincinnati can control Saquon, they can win this game. Um, but we it, it has the it definitely has the possibility of being a shootout, right? Like earlier in the year, right. we saw the Baltimore Cincinnati matchup be a shootout. So um, Cincinnati has weapons on the outside. Philly has weapons on the outside. The, the key is going to be controlling Saquon and forcing forcing uh, Philly to try and beat you through the air. So if they can do that, but but I still think that Joe Burrow is the better quarterback between he and Jalen Hurts, although they're both very good. And so I think that the better quarterback play is going to end up uh, winning the day here. And I'm going to go yeah. with Cincinnati. Okay. Mm-hmm. Oh, because it was flexed. I think these games were flexed in reverse. Because Philly and Cincinnati is a one o'clock game, actually. But on my sheet here, they're a four twenty-five game. So I think there was a flex happen. That must be why I'm getting them all mixed up as far as time. All right, I'm getting it. All right, um, I have. Uh, oh, I think this is going to be a great game. Um, like you said, uh, Cincinnati's defense is just horrible. Um, Saquon Barkley can he, he can run the air out of a football. But for some odd reason, I'm just not fond of Jalen Hurts right now. I, I think he's just not – something isn't right, right? And I, I can't put my mm-hmm. finger on it um, this season on how we, how they're playing. They're getting off to these slow starts, and they're relying a lot, a lot on, uh, relying a lot on Saquon Barkley. And I think if Cincinnati can control – I'm not going to say stop him, right? I don't think mm-hmm. they're going to be able to stop him. But I think if they can control the tempo and make this a shootout and put the mm-hmm. ball in Jalen Hurts' hands – then I think Cincinnati can definitely come out with a W. And as far as we've seen, Joe Burrow can definitely light up, light it up as much as he has before. And I think that could spell trouble for the Philadelphia Eagles, man. All right, all right. Let me let me uh, interrupt you real quick, Steve. What's up, Steve? Got to give a shout to Steve in the chat, man. Good to see you here. Appreciate you, bro. And like that damn screen. You see that, man? Like the <laughs> damn stream, okay? Like the live. Yes. Subscribe, yes. push it out to more people, man. I know That's you guys right. all got a group chat. You all have a group chat. All That's a good do, point. Right? Yeah, you all have a group chat. That's a fact. Put us in that group chat. Hey, yes. hit that, that share button right there underneath oh. the video. You see, like, remix, copy link, like, copy link. <laughs> yeah, put it in your group chat, man. That's Let right. the fellas know that you're on that, that you're on here, so they can see mm-hmm. what you're saying. If you're on here, trust me, they're gonna want to come see what you're talking about, and then all of a sudden they hear us talk great things about the Green Bay Packers, <laughs> great things about how the Navy is gonna beat the Irish. Great man, stop, man. The Navy is, Navy is not gonna beat the Irish, bro. That's not yeah. happening. Let me let me talk, bro. This is okay. Go ahead, talk, man. I mean, if you, if you want to be here making stuff up, I mean, 
That that's how you're gonna get people to the show by lying to them. That's what you're gonna do. I mean, hey, you see what Shannon? Uh, no, uh, you was good with the Packers, so you start talking about. <laughs> you right though. <laughs> <laughs> they be lying on the ring <laughs> You right. <laughs> you are right, my man. <laughs> but no, uh, but yeah, man, like the damn stream. Uh, welcome, Steve, man. Welcome in the chat. Hopefully, we uh we can get the last four or five picks from you, and uh, you can put them in the chat as well. So, but I got I got Cincinnati right along with you there, brother. Um, Carolina and Bryce Young is going to be traveling to Denver. I'm just going to click Denver for you. You don't have to explain why. Uh, <laughs> <go ahead. laughs> Look at Steve. <laughs> Oh boy! <laughs> Listen, Tyler, I'm. I, uh, I, I actually want them to come feel me on that one. That would be crazy. I got something to say, all right? Oh my goodness! I got something to say. Okay. Steve is a fool. Authority to submit G's picks. Ravens, 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 Ravens. Him. Yeah. Uh, oh if my that, goodness! If you guys notice when G talks, right? I love G. I love G. Hopefully That's he's brother, right man. now. He will give a full detail synopsis, description, play by play when it he comes will. to that Ravens team. Hey, man. Hey, who you got? Buffalo or Seattle? Oh, man. Buffalo, man. I don't know, man. <laughs> Just a better quarterback. That's oh, all my yeah. That's all I got. <laughs> hey, but he is tuned in. Hey, y'all. Oh, we man. have obviously we have a group chat, right? This man was harassing Bruce all was. night <laughs> when mm-hmm. it came to that Ravens game and them beating the brakes off of them Buffalo uh Buccaneers, man. But you know what's crazy? Hilarious. He was acting like I didn't he acted like I didn't pick the Ravens to win that game. That's the crazy part. Yeah, you just had it close. I, th- it close. I think he, he just expects me to be crazy like him. And I'm like, uh, <laughs> I'm objective, man. <laughs> like, I don't know. That's my guy though. Hey man, we love G, man. We love G. Oh yeah, bro. yeah. G is my brother, boy. man. We That's we literally went through it together, man. So yes, sir. All right, uh, but yeah, <laughs> Carolina and Denver. I'm pretty sure you're just picking Denver, but you know, if you want to give you reason why, go ahead. Um. Oh yeah, because uh, one, Carolina sucks. Two, you uh, Bryce Young, not good at all. I, I'm gonna be a little more judicious with the words on that young man because he's still young in his career, but he's not good. And uh, three, Denver has an outstanding defense. Carolina is not going to be able to get anything going. No, uh, ditto. Everything mm-hmm. you just said. Denver, yeah. best deep, one of the best defense, top three in the NFL. Carolina, bottom of the NFL in offense. That spells disaster. <laughs> that just spells disaster. Steve. <laughs> 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 right. Yo, hey, that's he, facts, though, Steve. That's no, facts. <laughs> Yes, it will always get back to the Ravens and Lamar. That's a fact. Three, uh, it's three uh-huh. teams. If it's Kansas City and you mentioned Patrick Mahomes, he's going to yeah. mention Lamar Jackson. That's San right. Fran, if you mention Joe, uh, Brock Purdy, Brock Purdy, he's going to mention Lamar Jackson. That's right. Buffalo Bills, if you mention Josh, Josh Allen, he's going to mention Lamar Jackson. It <sighs> never freaking fails, man. That's right. Hey, man, we love That's right. that. But when you say, when you have like LeBron and Knights, and Le- LeBronicans <laughs> and the Broniacs and the Bron- oh. the, the, the Bron-, Bron believers. What do you, yeah, what's the yeah. other one that you guys use all the time? Bron oh, sexuals. Yeah. Uh, mm. You got that. That man is a full blown rave Lamar sexual when it comes to Lamar Jackson, right? Yeah. He's not, here to yeah. Say he's not here to defend himself. So I can't wait for him to come back and be like, oh man, you were talking <laughs> about me. All right. But that man, you can't he can't go wrong with Lamar Jackson, boy. If you pick right, against right. him, you better have a detailed description why that you still like him and you think he's a good quarterback, but he just mm-hmm. needs a little work here. <laughs> That's crazy. Gotta love him, man. Gotta love him. Yes, absolutely. All uh right. what's, what's the next game? Where are yep. we? Um we're at Kansas City Kansas travels City. to Las Vegas, and Kansas City wins by 10. So explain why. <laughs> I'm cool with that. Um Again, uh, Spags' defense, uh, the, Ra- the, Raider- the Raiders have no quarterback play. They're just bad. They don't have any weapons other than Brock Bowers. And um, so, I mean, you got one guy, and Max Crosby is not going to be enough to get it done against Pamela. He's just not. This is not a good football team. And I know, right? <laughs> this is just not a good football team, the Raiders. So they'll be taking another L. I don't know if this is deliberate. To try and secure that high draft pick, uh, you know, maybe they want Shadur. 
but it's just it's not good. This is a terrible football team. No, nah, very terrible. Uh, mm-hmm. Kansas City just got another weapon as well, so it's like it just got worse right. for Vegas. That's what I said by 10. Kansas City hasn't been lighting up the scoreboard this year. They've just been winning, methodically winning, right? No matter if it's by defense, if it's by offense. Mm-hmm. Uh, Patrick Mahomes had two turnovers, no touchdowns as far as throwing, and yet they still – won the game soundly against the San Francisco 49ers. So th- those guys just win football games, right? But I think it's, it's Kansas City, without a doubt. Defense, Patrick Mahomes, easy day. I'm not even going to stress that one. That's it. Uh, easy day. Final game of the Sunday, Dallas travels to San Francisco. Dallas coming mm-hmm. off a bye. San Fran coming off a losing again against the <sighs> NFL champions. Who do you mm-hmm. have? And not just uh, – yeah, um – So Debo should be back for this okay. game. Um, okay, there you go. All right, I was going. Ayuk is done, I believe. Yeah, uh, done for the season. Still have Kittle. Um, can still run the football, and that right. that right there is the key to me because Dallas can't stop the run. So I think San Francisco should be just fine and get that bounce back win, and uh, we will see Dak, you know, continue to flounder. So I'm all yeah. for it. Uh, I like that. If you can't stop the run, you can't run the football. Mm-hmm. You're always going to be on my L sheet unless you're playing Carolina. Las Vegas or uh, uh, what's my other team? New England Patriots. So I mean, if you're playing one of those three teams, I'll give you a, a chance. But San Fran, like I said, they're just coming off of a loss against the champs. I am a little. I'm, I am going to be curious to see how that offense looks without the one, two, and three. But like you said, uh, Debo Sam, you may come back. He was just sick. I think he had a case of pneumonia. Um, yeah, something. Yeah. With, yeah, a case of pneumonia. So it's nothing injury related. Just more of health, sickness related. But if you guys mm-hmm. know anything about the human body, it's kind of tough to come back when you when you have pneumonia because that really does attack your cardiovascular system. So, mm-hmm. um, so curious to see you know what he's going to be like coming back. But they got Jordan Mason back there. I forget the other the third string running back's name. Th- those guys can just run the freaking football all day. Um, and Jawan Jennings, I believe he's going to be coming back this game, so they should at least have their uh, third receiver, fourth, third receiver um, in the game. So uh, I have uh, San Fran winning. Um, off the defense and just running the air out of the football, man. I think Dallas is going to try to keep it close. They're going to try to air it out over the top a little bit. San Fran has been a little bit more uh, uh, troublesome and defending the deep threats, but I think uh, San Fran is definitely going to pull this one out. Uh, Final game of the week. It's going to be another easy one. New York Jets, I mean, New York Giants traveled to Pittsburgh and Mm -hmm. Russell Wilson and those Steelers. Who do you have, brother? Um, uh, I've got Pittsburgh. Uh, the defense is good. Uh, New York can't really get anything going. Uh, Daniel Jones is just playing terribly. Um, another bad football team. Uh, I don't, I don't know what to say. Uh, Russell Wilson had the Steelers offense looking very good, uh, for the yeah. first time in a long time, uh, last week. And, you know, I think that this is another opportunity against a bad team for that to continue. And yeah. so I got Pittsburgh. I, I'm not too concerned about it. Nah, I'm agreeing with you. Pittsburgh, bad quarterback, mm-hmm. best de- against the best defense in the league. Done right. Deal. Yep. There you yeah, go. There's not much much more to say than that. 